<laughs> Hello, people. Me again. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work, health, and strength is good. What? So, it's, you know, it's the world's number one gamer. You know this, right? I'm the best to do this. <laughs> I'm full of myself. I'm just playing around here. Here's the deal. So, PlayStation, so PlayStation beats Xbox in 2022, right? You're like, what? PlayStation beats Xbox in 2022 or Sony stole the spotlight from Xbox in 2022? You're like, huh? All right, look. So let me get this straight. Microsoft, Microsoft had momentum, right? And last year, Remember Halo had Halo had got the Halo had got delayed, right? So last year, uh, 343 uh, released uh, Halo multiplayer, right? Right before the Thanksgiving weekend, right? And what that did, what what 343 did was kill three birds with one stone. Basically, they killed Battlefield, killed Final Fantasy. Uh, was it was it in, was it End World, and then killed uh, the Spider-Man DLC for the Avengers, right? Plus the Spider-Man DLC for the the Avengers didn't do anything, right? So Microsoft had momentum, right? Okay, and they took over 2021, right? With Halo, with with, with Halo, with, why they when they dropped the uh, the multiplayer and then dropped the actual game. On December the 8th, right? Alright. So, EA got mad. EA was mad that Halo Infinite stole the spotlight from them. But the reason being is that EA, being stubborn and hard-headed, they decided to go challenge the European Union over loot box and Europe put their foot down, right? Okay. But 343 didn't affect Call of Duty. Call of Duty dropped... Right before, uh, right before uh, the, the multiplayer for uh, Halo, uh, for uh, Halo Infinite, right? And Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft got momentum, so they was gonna, they were gonna use the same strategy come 2022 because they were working on Halo, Halo uh, co-op and Forge, right? Even the developers, remember, the developers from uh, Splitgate say they were going to release their 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 uh, Forge and co-op before Halo Infinite, right? Remember that. So, okay. Right now, Microsoft is beta testing the co-op for Halo Infinite, right? And Starfield was supposed to come out in November, right? But then Starfield got delayed till 2023. So Sony now seeing seeing the window of opportunity for 2022 stole the spotlight with God of War Ragnarok. You get it now. Remember, remember, Activision. And EA used to go toe to toe, toe to speed for speed, stride for stride, tempo for tempo, blow for blow, right? When it comes to Call of Duty versus Battlefield, right? So Battlefield, so EA, EA decide to go create loot to go to go challenge Europe, right? So they fell off. So now Activision was in was was making military shooters by themselves. Remember, they dropped Modern Warfare, then they dropped they dropped Warzone, and that solidified them. Then they followed that up with Black Ops Cold War, and then uh, Vanguard, right? Okay. And EA is nowhere to be found, right? So EA now, they decide they 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 they, they were trying to make up for lost time, right? So they decide to go um to make Battlefield. And if you look at the dem and if you look at the video for the Battlefield, I think I think it's 2024. That they just made, that they made, something was off about the video. It's not like the battlefield that they made when uh, when EA dropped 
when uh, when uh, EA dropped Battlefield next to Titanfall 2. That Battlefield was actually better than the one that they just did. So that Battlefield was off. And they were making, and um, EA was trying to make it for lost time, right? So 343 now seen an opportunity, seen, seen an opportunity, right? And they know that EA is weakened, EA, EA is weakened, and that EA is trying to build momentum with Battlefield. So what did 343 did? They decide to drop the multiplayer and steal the spotlight from Battlefield, right? 20, uh, 2024, right? Right? And they kill three birds with one stone. That's Battlefield, Spider-Man, the Spider-Man DLC for the Avengers, and in in our Final Fantasy. So um, Microsoft ruled 2021 based on that strategy between the launch of Halo on December the 8th and the multiplayer. So they took over that that entire November, December, right? Okay, so now fast forward to 2022. Microsoft got momentum. They were still working on co-op and Forge. So they're gonna drop the co-op in August, right? But then Starfield was supposed to come out November. Microsoft got momentum, right? But then Starfield got delayed till 2023. And then Sony now they're looking they're looking for some momentum and then God of War just slide right in. So now God of War rules November and December. PlayStation just beat uh, Xbox in 2022 based on that strategy. Anyway, listen to this. Hmm. Says here, Sony confirms God of War Ragnarok will release this November. Hmm. Says here, uh, Sony has finally confirmed the release date for, for God of War Ragnarok. And it's Wednesday, 9th November, for both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. Today, also bring a fresh CGI trailer for the game, showing the glimpse at some of the dangers, I mean, Kratos and Afrius could find themselves up against. As the uh, prof 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 prophecies Ragnarok approaches, or pro. pro Anyway, today also brings word of the game, many additions and pre-order bonus. Look down, look down your purchase ahead of launch, and you'll get the Kratos Rising Snow Armor and the Athea's Rising Snow Tunic Cosmetic. Hmm. Says here, the game standard edition will be available separately for both PS4 and PS5. Owners of the PS4 version will have to pay $10 to upgrade their copies to PS5, right? That means cross, that means cross gen. But anyway, says the Ragnarok Digital Deluxe Edition includes another armor set for Kratos and Athea's, a digital soundtrack, digital mini art book, avatar, and Prius 4 themes. And it says, moving on, collector's uh, edition wrap, wraps all of all of the above in big psych, uh, physical box. <laughs> I was going to say psychic. <laughs> With a, a voucher for the game and empty uh, steel book case, even though there's no disc, you also get a, a 16 uh, replica of a pair of two veneer twins, <laughs> craving and dwarven uh, di disc. I mean, this set says, um, I can't call that word, but anyway, says here, uh, finally, the, the Jut Jutnar uh, edition includes all of the above in a uh, fancier physical box plus a seven uh, with two tracks and composer beer, uh, me Mexi. Maxery and a trap, a trap, trap, trap in here, uh, ring, a cloth map, and a shinier set of disc set uh, badges. 
It says the Versus Difference Edition of the game will become available to pre-order next week on 15 July. We'll be keeping an eye out for pricing detail just last week. And it says God of War director Corey Barlog appears to, to come as excitable PlayStation fans call out these dates information in a frenzy whip up by online gossip suggests an announcement was near. We'll, we'll hear we are in a barren year for big game launches. And it says we can now at least mark this one on the, our calendar. So yeah, um, PlayStation stole the spotlight from Xbox in 2022. Okay, with God of War because of because of uh, because of um, Bethesda's delay of Starfield. So PlayStation rules 2022 with God of War. Okay. So yeah, um, you know, um, when I saw this article, I realized how big the PlayStation was looking for. Sony was looking for some momentum because um, because of you know Xbox is always in the news with Game Pass and Bethesda and Starfield and all this, but the moment Starfield got delayed. Uh, PlayStation slid right in and stole the spotlight with God of War. Okay? Okay? Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinion. I'm going to leave this video for you all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Poor Dark Side. Oh, God.